Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. So guys in previous video we talked about heat internal energy and work in thermodynamics. Now in today's video we are going to discuss about first law of thermodynamics which is directly based on the terms which we discussed in previous video. So let's begin. Let delta Q be the heat supplied to the system by the surroundings. Delta W be the work done by the system on the surroundings and delta U be the change in internal energy of the system. The general principle of conservation of energy then implies that delta Q is equals to delta U plus delta W. That is the energy supplied to the system goes in partially to increase the internal energy of the system and the rest in work on the environment. This equation is known as the first law of thermodynamics. It is simply the general law of conservation of energy applied to any system in which the energy transfer from or to the surroundings is taken into account. Delta Q and delta W are the path functions but delta U is the point function. This means delta Q and delta W are path dependent quantities whereas delta U is path independent quantity. In the above equation all three quantities delta Q, delta U and delta W must be expressed either in joule or in calorie. The first law introduces the concept of internal energy. Now limitation of first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics does not indicate the direction of heat transfer. It does not tell anything about the conditions under which heat can be transformed into work and also it does not indicate as to why the whole of heat energy cannot be converted into mechanical work continuously. Now some useful sign convection in thermodynamics. Delta Q must be positive when heat is supplied to a system. Delta Q will be negative when heat is drawn from the system. Delta W is positive when work done by the gas expansion. Delta W is negative when work done on the gas means compression. Delta U is positive when with temperature rise or internal energy increases. Delta U is negative with temperature fall or internal energy decreases. <laughs> 